Hey kid, you wanna buy some Gen 2. So, do you wanna install Gen 2, but not learn anything about it while you're doing any steps? Or basically any of the functionality of Gen 2. Well this, this my friends, is the guide for you. Let's start by launching into the install CD. Obviously we're using QEMU today, but you can use anything you like. We set the key maps, obviously 42, because I speak the correct language. And the first thing we need to do is set up this space. So let's CF disk slash dev slash SDA. You might be using NVMe or um, VDA depending. We're going to use G GPT today. And first thing we want to do is set up a one gig partition. We change the type to EFI system. Okay, next we want to create a 2 gig swap. Why 2 gig? This isn't the guide. If you want to find out stuff, we're just copy and pasting. We change that to a Linux swap. And then the rest of the disk is going to be for our Gen 2. We go to right. Yes. Quit. Just pressing Q. And then we just make the file system. So that's makefs.vfat forward slash fd. And then it's going to be the first partition, which was partition 1. So sda1. And that's made our EFI data. Next, we're going to do the swap. So let's, let's make swap slash s make swap slash dev uh, slash sda2 because we did that in the second partition. And then finally, we want to make our root partition, which will be xfs. So make dot fs. Uh, sorry, make fs dot xfs slash dev slash sda3. Done. Right, we're going to mount these now. So mount slash dev sda re slash melt mount gen 2 cd to this we're going to make the booter so let's make the boot and then mount slash dev sda1 boot we'll activate our swap so swap on slash dev sda2 and if we did mount we can see everything's done there and then if we do free look our swaps done as well right let's download the stage networking should already be done so we're just going to do links www.gen2.org forward slash downloads mirrors forward slash job done we go to the closest mirror for us Hit enter, go down to releases, AMD64, because that's probably what everyone's going to be using if you're following this guide. Auto builds, and we want to use the current stage 3 AMD64 desktop. Now you can use OpenRC or SystemD, it doesn't matter, just use the one you like. Gen 2 is about choice, not being enforced upon. Hit save, save, done. Wait for it to download. Okay, hit Q, enter, done. Tar, XVF, and then stay, ST, and then tab. That's going to uncompress this for us. Happy dates. Okay, if we do ls, we can see that's done. So we can do rm stage to remove the stage. Yes, done. Right, then we do arch hyphen char root and then just do a dot. And that's us inside the char root environment. Happy days. So we can now do nano forward slash etc portage forward slash make config. In the common flags, we're just going to type in march equals native. Well, that will give us all the um, 
that is just optimized for our, our CPU type. We don't really need anything else. We could set make ops, but what's the point? It defaults to the maximum anyway. Just keep it as it is. Okay, now we're going to enable the bin host. So that's features in capital letters equals quotes git bin package. Like so. And we'd also want to enable signatures, which is just bin package request. Signature. And while we're here, let's do licenses as well. Uh, except underscore licenses equals quotes star for everything star. Again, we could go through all this like the handbook does, but you wanted a quick and dirty guide. So, we're just going to enable everything. Control X. Okay. So, we've got all the uh, portage stuff set up ready. Let's sync the portage tree. So, emerge hyphen hyphen sync. Realise that I forgot to uh, copy over the DNS settings. So, we've exited the jar route. We're going to copy over that. So we do a copy slash etc resolve dot config etc slash like so and then we'll char root back in and do an emerge sync and see that it now works now you're gonna think I made a mistake but really I was just showing you how to check for errors you know smart okay now we can do emerge verbose ask which is just va gen2 hyphen kernel slash bin uh, it's got a complaint so we just type in yes we then run dispatch config we type in yes to use it and that's done. Anyway, bin host is working anyway, so we're just gonna type in yes here. If you get this error, just run it in git two two. And we wait for everything to install. Okay, next we're gonna do grub for the bootloader. Why grub you ask? Hey grub. Okay, that's done. So let's install a grub to the hard drive properly. So that's a grub install hyphen hyphen EFI directory equals slash boot and then slash dev sda okay done then next is a grub hyphen make config hyphen uh, hyphen o slash boot slash a grub slash a grub config done we're going to install a few tools now. So emerge, verbose, ask, and the first one is going to be this K log. Then crony, which is C R O N I E, crony, which is C H R. O N Y does time, the other one does um, system tasks. We want XFS progs. And that'll do. We hit enter. We hit enter again. I'll be let that install. Right, now we need to start our services. Obviously, we're doing this as an open RC. So let's RC update add and then sys k 
a log D default. Learn how to spell. And uh, then we want to do crony. And crony. And that's crony with a D on the end. Right, next we password. So we do PSSWD. Type in your super duper password right here. I'll do Imolo is the greatest. You should subscribe. And I'll type that again. Right, so let's do a host name, so that's nano forward slash etc forward uh, nano forward slash etc host name. Here we'll type in the uh, host name we're going to use. I'll call this Reddit Karma. Karma. And if I type in exit, then reboot, I should boot into my new Gen 2 system. So let's see. Well, there we go. Let's log in. Right. We're not quite ready yet, though, are we? For farming that karma on relic so let's do emerge verbose ask fast fetch and then we just type in fast fetch there we go we take a screenshot of this we put it on reddit instant upvotes okay 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 some of you some of you might have enjoyed gen 2 at this point you're going to want to know, how do I get a desktop running? I've got you, bro. I've got you. If we do emerge, the voice ask, and here we're going to type in mate hyphen base forward slash mate. Then we're going to type in um, light dm and xorg hyphen drivers i will speed this up by doing hyphen hyphen jobs uh, equal uh, hyphen hyphen jobs and we'll set it to eight why eight because my system can handle it so i'm going to assume that your system can handle it too off we go So that's done, we need to create a user now. So that's a user add hyphen m hyphen a big G audio comma video comma will and then the name of the user. We'll see, we'll use Imolo. We then give it a password, so that's P A S Y M L O. We set a password, like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, now we just need to set some services up. So R C update add D bus default and R C service. Dbus, RC service, Dbus start, and then we want to do nano forward slash config dot d display manager. We change the XML bit XDM here to light DM. Control X to save, and then. RC update add uh, display default 
and then we're going to change that heart as well to display manager here we go now if i type in my password and hit enter you can see i am now in a full mate gen 2 install Perry approved i know i like this one we have absolutely no understanding of what we just did at all so i hope this teaches you what the handbook's important and not using a youtube video guide but you're gonna I'll sit here wearing to yourself oh, what the hell did you just make this well a everyone asked me to make it so i thought i'd finally do it just for the lols and i was also thinking you know what would be funny how about if i review your install guides so why don't you pop onto my discord which i'll pop into the description below and if you've got a gen 2 install guide in a text video or anything like that send that over to me and i'll take a look at it and i'll rip into it or oh, you never know you might actually make the first guide but i go yeah i quite like that so if you're feeling brave enough come and have a go and uh, obviously if you want your mate to look nice why don't you check out the video in the top which will uh, show you how i riced my setup but until next time guys keep compiling i make funny gen 2 videos while also teaching you how to use it properly if you want to help support me then visit my patreon at patreon.com forward slash imolo 157 if not just like and subscribe please as it really helps with the algorithm